Well, certainly the Constitution of Tanzania makes provision for situations like this, uh, when a president dies or resigns or dies while in office. Uh, for example, the vice president, who incidentally is the president in Zanzibar, takes over as the president of the United Republic of Tanzania. So in this particular case, what I envisage is that the president of Zanzibar becomes the president of the United Republic of Tanzania. And uh, by doing that, therefore, opting for the presidency of the United Republic, he has to resign the vice presidency of Zanzibar and uh, an election is conducted in Zanzibar to get the president of Zanzibar who will in turn be the president, the vice president of the United Republic. And uh, for the first time in history, as far as I know, somebody from the island is going to assume the presidency of the United uh, Republic of Tanzania, which would ordinarily not be very, very uh, simple considering the population of the island and the population of the mainland. It would be difficult for somebody from the island to contest and win the presidency of uh, the United Republic, considering that the island is small with a smaller population. But this time, it has happened. Of course, we express condolences to the people of, um, of uh, Tanzania. Uh, we grieve with them on this tragic loss of their president, who was to some extent a model in the, in the region in terms of uh, development and thinking about his country, notwithstanding his stance on freedoms, especially the, free, the political freedoms, the freedom of, of, of the press and expression. I think he had some shortcomings in that area, but generally via development and the patriotism, he was somebody to emulate. As far as the Tanzanian constitution is concerned, when a president dies, the vice president assumes office for the remaining term. So that is a, a bit different from other countries. For example, in Uganda, when a president dies, the vice president takes over for a certain period, but we are supposed to hold elections. In Tanzania, the vice president assumes the office of the presidency for the remaining term. So we expect that the current vice president will serve the remaining term. But you see, there is also an understanding that is derived from their constitution that the vice president will always come from the, 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 the island, the mainstream island. And uh, this, the president, the one who, who, who has succeeded the president, is supposed to nominate a vice president to serve under her, under her, as we are speaking now. Because as we speak now, it is the vice president who is a lady who is supposed to nominate a vice president to serve with her for the remaining term. Now, the, the, the implication or the balance, because one, remember, they've been having sort of an unwritten role on the, when there is a, a Muslim president for these terms, the next terms is a non-Muslim president, sort of unwritten. And that also has to do with the relationship they have between Zanz, uh, Tanzania and Zanzibar mainland. So I think there is uh, something that is not very clear on how they are going to manage the issue of vice presidency and also the issue of the unwritten rule regarding uh, the Muslim Christian understanding that has been existing in that country. And that is probably one of the reasons for their peace. The constitution is very clear. If that was not anticipated, in the constitution, then they have to live with it. I am aware that as we speak now, there are discussions, and uh, we are not so sure how those discussions will evolve. But I don't think there is going to be a constitutional crisis because the constitution is very clear. What can only happen is to learn from this experience for purposes of addressing similar challenges in the future so that if there is need for a constitutional amendment, it is addressed. But I don't think it can, can be caused for a constitutional crisis. So much to the development of Tanzania and the East African region. And at such a stage where the East African region is struggling 
we really needed him, his wisdom, his experience, his exposure, his stamina, and his courage to help the baby East Africa to grow, to mature, to a level that is desired that will take our East African community to another level. But as the people of East Africa, we regret. But I know the good Lord has been serving and he has been trusting. He has taken him home. We pray for him to be received in the internal peace. Amen. Robert Inten. Sincere condolences to the people of Tanzania, to his family and the political party that is in power. Uh, it's a sad moment for East Africa given that Tanzania just had its election recently and the people had entrusted him for the second term in office. Nevertheless, now that he has gone, I believe that uh, President Magufuli had asserted himself. And I think the lesson for African leaders is that a leader must be able to assert themselves and resist um, imperialism that comes in different forms. If you study his economic policies, if you study how he approached the international relationship, you will see a leader that is firm and he cannot be bullied. Uh, I also know that uh, in Tanzania they were able to make progress economically. Many of the African countries, including Uganda, had been struggling to cross the line for middle income status. And Tanzania did that, I think, with two years to spare. Uh, on the issue of transition, I think we also now have a big lesson to learn that even when a president passed on, Tanzania appears to become, apart from social media, that means that the system and the institutions in Tanzania are quite functional. I don't think in Uganda would have the same. Things might be different if that were to happen in Uganda. And as a country, we are now pick a lesson and start planning early so that once such eventualities happen, the provisions of the constitutions are respected. And uh, to see the Vice President of Tanzania leading the process and appearing to be having the control of the state and also the support of the, the army leadership in Tanzania is a lesson that African countries can pick from. I think on the issues of human rights is where he fell short a little bit. He was a president that did not allow criticism. He was a president that appeared to close the space for civil society to operate. He was a president that clamped on press freedom. You know a number of uh, media houses were closed and some of your fellow journalists were jailed. So I think in that aspect he really failed miserably. But all leaders have their shortfalls. The good, good part is there, they also have the weak points. Thank you very much. To miss the late Magufuli, first and foremost as a Pan-Africanist, someone who loved his country, someone who tried even to suspend all the state functions and he could save money for his country, uh, someone who tried to fight corruption. I'm just looking at Magufuli as someone like uh, the, the late Kinyikiti Rengware, like uh, Kabarega, like Mwanga, all those resistors, all those strong Africans. So we shall live to miss him. However, um, when it came to, to heritage-related matters, I think he just take every, he took everything for granted and I'm suspicious that he could have succumbed to COVID-19 but I'm happy if they say he, la he died in his country. It means he trusted his country uh, more than the way we could trust other countries to seek for treatment. Before as a minister, they started breaking houses for the big shots, which you are in road reserves and wetlands. So, he lived the legacy. He was a man of the people, for the people, and by the people. What we don't know, 
whether he died of COVID or heart or whatever. But death comes as death. It's very, very unfortunate that he died. All of us remember when he called people to pray for divine healing. It's unfortunate that he has died before the divine healing comes. But the Bible says those who die in Christ will resurrect and we believe Mangufuli will resurrect in Christ. So it's very, very unfortunate. Chitalonyo echa Mangufuli okufa. Na ye okufa kwe. Abaganda bagambe echiri atabala ne yasigadde wakachi mutaiza. Magufuli tumujukirako ngo musajja engwanguli wogende dar es salaam engudo road reserve ah uh, futi 18 niwe bayise kintu echo magufuli yamenye ebizimbe ngo laba magorofa gebazimba mu road reserve ne munto bazinga agamenya irando boza e Tanzania webera yaba mafia baba dete bamwagala olokolo bulungi tujukira yakuge gwangalie lijeri sabe obulwade bukolechi bugende kitalo nyo nti obulwade obwandi genze ate umututi nefe na liye kubwa le tukola chi liye tugendera mukale tusabanti katonda amwech muwo mulo echemirembe kubanga east african community integration abakuru we bafa kiba kibinyo mukama muwo his Excellency Johnny Pombe Magufuli. To me, as, a, as a Henry Morris Tibale, I believe uh, Africa may not have that uh, president again, unless otherwise. But it's hard that uh, Africa will uh, have a president of that kind. President Johnny Pombe Magufuli came in uh, his simple way, living a simple life. But he lived by his words. He was a man of action. He was not a man of theory. If he said over the radio or TV or media that I'm fighting corruption, he fought corruption. He was not somebody who could be good at statements, but poor in action. You remember when President Magufuli had just come and he said I will reduce my salary. He was clear. He cut his salary from, I think, around, he was earning around 40-something million in our currency. He went to around, I think, 15 million shillings. When he said my focus is on health in the hospitals, he could walk in those hospitals himself. You saw his lifestyle. He could not have those convoys of protection. He knew he was a president elected by people. He was there so he could walk free to exactly check what was happening in the hospitals, not to be told by ministers and the permanent secretaries and so on, who would only wish to tell the president what he wishes to hear. You remember when he said he was reducing the cabinet? He reduced the cabinet from Simani uh, Fotowat and he ended on, I think, 27 or 23 members. I'm not sure of the, 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 the number, but he reduced. You remember when he said we are going to move public means. Park the vehicles wherever you park them, enter the bus, go to work, enter the bus, back at, to save the taxpayers' money. President Magufuli lived a life that anybody who wishes Ugandans well, or Kenyans well, or Tanzanians well, an African well would really emulate and wish to live that life. President Magufuli was a man who could stand and say, tomorrow we are going to Kawempe to clean Kawempe. I will lead because I'm leading by example. And you would see President Magufuli putting on boots. Then you see any other minister or any other MOP or who would wish to live that lifestyle as if he's in heaven. That is why you have seen me saying it will be hard for Africa to get another president like President Magufuli. You saw his campaigns. 
simple campaigns because he knew he was there to serve the people of Tanzania. Some of us were in Tanzania during that time when they were about to go for campaigns. But you could hear the arguments. You get his statistics and you see how much President Magufuli spent in his campaigns. Not these campaigns where money is the order of the day, buying people is the order of the day. That was a president who was a nationalistic. He was so much against those, those things from foreign land. The influence of foreigners, the influence of Americans, the influence of the white. He was so, so much against it. But he was moving his country systematically towards that direction of self-independence. That is the man called His Excellency, President John Pombe Magufuli. We just wish we could have another leader like that one. But as it says, God called him. Whichever disease that President Magufuli died of, he died. But he lived a life that we would wish every president of any country in Africa would live to emulate and restore hope in the country, in, the Uga in, in those citizens that those presidents lead. We only have to say that may his soul rest in peace. Tanzania, East Africa, Nabantu Africa bona nenta ya world nti kibinyo president John Pombe Magufuli doctor afude kitalo nyo mukama ya waira ya jawo but twagala abantu bona aba Africa bategere kintu kimunganze kyendo woza nti kibade kitwali da Africa banga dene okufuna president alinga Pombe John Magufuli agenze Nzendo za ntichija kutuwa lila Afrika Ebanga dene Okuza o president alinga President John Pombe Magufuli Doctor President yoyonga ya kajambu yinza Ya jane simple life Nga bantubalo oza ntitajia kukola Na yenga ya living life Ye yomu ntuwa wansi Na abala ganti oloku banti ya vawansi Ayagalo kufiri Romu ntuwa wansi Atamble no ntuwa wansi Nga alwana kukole lera mtu wa wansi Ebi okube la nensi Ngerimu klase zibiri satu Nga abamu bali nga bali mugulu Na ya abamu bali vinga nga bali mugeyena President John Pombe Magufuli Yali alwanye nyo kugata gapwe yojija o Na agamba mwabata ambulira mumotoka Eziri ngezive wa katonda Na mumuliba na Tanzania Nga abasule njala Katutekewe mbeira Na mumu berenga, at least abantu banji tegele nsi jebali mbo na. Na agamba ngenda kwa takubi ovula mu, mwala wanga president inga atambule vigero kuingira mmalu aliro. Asango musawo, asange kilina, olia mbulire chiri na chiri na chiri. Sibi no vya president kuingira mba nti ogenze kuchari ya dua aliro, nga baku tele dewo tenti, abantu boka baku mbulire bifa mdua aliro, ye director, ye minister, ye permanent secretary of a commissioner. Nyai president magufuli inga ingira, Cleaner na mubuli dantu obzibubuli wani. Addressing ebi hundu na mubuli da chino. Omsawo wa wansi na mubuli da. Na agate evi ntubyo na. Na tegira. Mwala wanga ayingira na ayingira buli kasenga abalu wade mwevali. Na agamba tutelezebi obula muu. Tutelezeza tutia. Tusaleku sente zabanu. Abata ambuli da mumotoka. Efuwa mzinga mchifocha AC. Tuluwa niliraba ntuba wansi. Mujyu kila ya gamba ntu omsala guange gulibu eguti. Na ala giro msala guange mugu jeyo mumirio nye zana ne chintu hata nuzemfuna Mugu teke wansi mumirio ni kumina chintu zemdafuna Zijia kumala kubandi na ala wense zendala Nensi elabiri rafamire yange nobula mu Nzo msala guenja gala guwa kubera oka tuna Na ye sente zisinga so yolo aseti ngecho Na ala gira na haba kulembe zaba lalabo no kubera anga bali vinga Ye kwe example jia seti nze President ya jana gamba kabineti Ruachi tuvela ne kabineti ya sobaba minister ze ana Na ino Tanzania etai mzinga Uganda by three dooza Aba geografi bebachi manyobu ni obulunji Na iya gamba tuvela tutia ne kabineti ya sobaba antu wa makumi ana Na gamba kanjikende zeba kaya wansu wasa tuwa wali yoba habiri mbusambu Habiri mbusambu efiga ziri yao na iya jikendeza Ngacha ya gamba njakuluwa na corruption Siye mtu agenda kuredio Oba ku TV, oba mu media, 
kuogira bigamba abireke ya gamba nja kulwani sa corruption paka omusajja abade mu abade mu nse myaka 5 nga bamwadde simanyi batambule ene 5 5 abereye myaka 10 agene na inga myaka 10 chakoze tuyeta ga kubera mu nse myaka 5 nga president achikole yo yo president john pombe magufuli ense mu firidwa abada chali na vingi fetwali ko mtanzania na ingo laba bana Tanzania ba ulira dalanga president agenda kuzawe mirembe yatambulanga ku ngudo na gambo lwale ero bulunji bwansi tugenda cleaning olugudo na ateka mu boot na abira ne security yento noto no ento noto no nga president nga yagamba nganti yete yeta ga convoy kubira na convoy inge rike moto ka 10 bibiri a a yeta ga tambule abantu baberenga basobola mutu kirira Alawe vizivu. Chechale teda ne yesu. Okuzali wa neba mzali la mchiralo chente. Simanyi mchichi. Na atambulu obu la muna ina agenda komu katale. Ye magufuli. Hava na Tanzania. Hava firidwa magufuli. Na yawa na Afrika. Tu firidwa magufuli. Kwa tulo uoza. Nti hava president ya vadako. Monsie ndala simanyi vya Uganda. Na hiba president ya vadako monsie ndala. Bali David Deko kuoyo. Oboli yao. Na bune tulaba kubu la mwenja ulo mwusiza wuze babi lako. Agenze nga wamu tebana laba mwabali wanubendi na wamu libana bato. Evi mute mubira vye vulu unji. Na hii singa tufuna yopre na enze ndi wared. Simanyi na hii tuluzi nze magufuli. Chija tutu alire bango kufuna president alinga magufuli. Chizibu nyo Afriko kuza o president magufuli. Uganda yo. Nga Uganda tulinovu zibu eno, eno pakti je tuasa iningene ne, neno Tuasa iningene magufuli Mumulaba tubade ne ta, e, tanga laini e, ya oiro Tubade na vichi e, Msajja mumulaba buye tambulira Tuade tuloza anti bulijebu wali kere de Kumwe abadja mbuyinza Na wali mbufuzi na abadja mbufuzi Mwali bade mulinache mumu yigira kwa katonoto no katonoto no katonoto no Ovuli hawa wana bafewe wali tukide mbuyinza Ngenzi ndo oze tere denaye, President Magufuli agenze, chitalo nyo, mukama muwechi umuleche mire.